a little more. All right, let's run, get back to the fingers here, around the fingers. All right, we round by scoop the the knuckles. That's good in there. I mean, maybe a little bit of shape and definitely a lot of cleaning up going on in there. All right, let's continue on. Again, we want to get this nice um, shadow of the arm, the hand just coming out. Now, just uh, one thing I did not, yeah, I didn't have to do it on that side. See how rounded that was around by the, it does, because what happens is that, remember, this this is a very, very, very long sleeve, and he's rolling it back. Let's get a little bit of shadow here. And, fingers out of the way. And I want to bring, like I did with the the other pinky, or the other hand, just bring a little bit of this up. Careful, I did do a twist there. We're going, like I said, like the other one. <coughs> We're going in. Going in. Nice. Clean shadow going on in there. Okay, continuing on. Let's get this crease in there. Let's keep that going. A little bit of rounding. Right now, I just want to bring this in a little bit to the shoulder. I, well, I'll do that. I'll do that a little later. I should have done that a little later. Same thing what we did here. Putting on the other side, we'll put the crease in. Put the fold in. And like I did before, we've got some room. Maybe let's put another one right here.
There's a little bit of something in there. And when it comes to kind of cleaning up, we'll shape this a little better. Here's my little detailing knife. I'll be able to do some of that, take some of the marks off. And maybe do this, clean that up that way. Because what I want to do is I want to put just a little bit of a, a V on top so it's a bowl. And then whatever's left on the inside, that's whatever ingredients he's meshing. I just want to shrink it a little bit. It's a full bowl. Where is it? It's as close as I can get with that. I have much more cleaning up to do here and picking. Cleaning and picking. It's like playing the guitar, picking and cleaning. All right, working my way up. Next thing I want to do is, I think, tis the time to do the face. But before that, I'm going to come down. I'm going to start a little bit from the top and come down is the top here. And I'm really going to have to bring this around. What I want to do... is you can dent that as much as you want to make it look the top of the hat, put some really dent, good dents in there and, and whatever. But what I want to do, after get this all cleaned up, here comes the fun part. Where is my digging knife? Like I mentioned, I wonder if this will help. You have to be careful with this knife. This is a, a knife I've had you seen in the past as it's getting smaller and smaller. But I use that for digging. That is good digging. But you got to be careful. It uh, it will slip easily. And what we want to do is we want to make this in kind of like a mushroom. Where the there yeah like that you can see some some nice shade there. There we go. Get in there. See that nice shade. And again, they'll be need to be cleaned later. Undercut, I believe we call it. Now watch how it makes sure this doesn't slip. It will slip. would help add some of the those are 
realism, character, whatever you want to call it. Same with here. Now this is going to go close to or on the ear. I don't want to definitely don't want to slip and knock out the ear. Yeah, you save all your knives when I get to the end. Now some of them, I got another one that I use for my detailing. Okay, with that, now one of the things that I did, you notice here, is I took a nice round tool and, and put some dent. I am going to forego that for the moment because I want to do the face first. And as we do the face and the ears and all that, is that it may we may end up adjusting that. And so I don't want to do that. All right, here we go. We're going to do the eyes. Pencil. Like I said, I wanted a little bit of a, hopefully a little bit of a tilt to make it really. And hopefully. Now, as I mentioned before in the rough outs, when you go in the, the peril, when the uh, horizontal here, now you notice how the nose comes up and then slowly goes down. That's the, the, the bit that couldn't get in there. So you want like as much down on the down slope. I mean, if you like, you say, well, here it is right here. And you put that nose there and you got a little dinky nose. So we want the nose to be here. Do our little triangle. And we're going to do this. Put, now we can start putting these things in. But I want to start with the eyes and nose first. Now, like what I've done before with my eyes and nose on it, you don't have to dig as deep. You just want to get some of the lumber out of there, and then we could get our round chisel and run out. This is very quickly. So again, because I'm right-handed, it's by nature for me the blade is this way. Left-handed, I suppose, is backwards, or, or backwards, I said it before, different, the other direction. So I'm just going to go away from the nose towards the eyeball that I got there. Away from the nose, away from the eyebrow, towards the eye, eyeball. Away from the eyebrow, we don't want to make him a scar. Now, now we're going to come back in from the top and we're going to towards the nose just to get that chip out and we're going to start about the cheek. We're going to go right down to the eye line. Stop. Now this cut just, just it helps you a little bit by doing that. A little bit of shaping. Now for all of you people who have done the eyes, you will notice that I skipped a, speed, skipped a step, didn't I? <laughs> Whoops. We start with the nose. Sorry. All right. Come back around again, away from the nose towards the eye. Away from the Eyebrow towards the eye, away from the eyebrow towards the eye, and again we're going to start with this one here. It just we're just completing a chip. You're just completing a chip. Same here, about halfway in the middle of the nose, and we're going to finish being on the eye line. Okay, now I want to take just a little bit of this off, just like it's a right, what they call it, a right triangle, straight down, 
just to give a little bit of roundness to the nose so we know what we're doing, just a little bit of bearings there. Now remember that, like I always say, is wherever we start with the nose and the eyes, everything goes around that. See, I'm a, I'm a from the inside out carver, and I want to put this in, make sure it's a little tilted, and let's get some of that. Be careful where the ear is. I'm going to stop about where the ear is. Where the ear is supposed to be. Oh, my, uh, there. Right there. And then... Right, right there's the eye line. I'll put the eye line back in. That's going to come back out again, but but the reason I put the eye line here, and I want to come down to the eye line, come back, come back onto the eye line so the two will meet. Okay, see, we're getting there. Okay, here's the next thing I want to do. I want to put these things in here. Put this back in to make sure we don't get too lost. I want to put that tilt in there, but it might get away from me. I'm not sure. I line in. I line in, but I want to get this in. V tool time. tool oh, where are you you haven't missed anything I just simply V tooled that a little bit I remember I want to tilt the head just a hair a squish I want to get the cheek in careful you don't take that nose off Again. All right. Now we put the lower, or the lower part of the mustache. Like I said, you can have any mustache you want. Uh, it comes with this. I call it a happy mustache. You know where it goes up because he's happy. He's not a, a old world Santa kind of a thing. He's more of a traditional happy. Happy go lucky guy. Okay, with that I'm gonna take my knife and follow along what I just carved or er, the cut with my feet dual. <sighs> Oops. I always say when you dig down, make sure you got the tip down and the butt end of your knife. Where are you? Up with your thumb on the carving. As I have always said. And I want to dig, what I want to do is just a little bit here, because we got the ear coming, is to pull the face out a little bit is what we're doing here. Pulling the face out. Rounding the cheek a little bit. And we're just getting a little bit of this. Just because we still want to make sure we have sideburns for the ears. Next, what we want to do is we want to... This. 
We're doing a 45 degree angle and we're just putting some, let's say, three dimensionality so you can see the eye at this angle here, the eyeball. Okay, now I want to start thinking about the ear. Now, before that, let's do this quick. Let's clean this up quick. Where are you, my number, small number? Yeah. We take our small number nine, like this, upside down, straight down on the nostril, right there. So it's uh, really deep, because the nose is socketed. It doesn't rest on the top of the face. It goes deep, because the cheek, because the cheek is going to come up. It's going to come around. So it's going to come up by the nose. Let's get that little extra out of there. And then we're going to do a little nose. This is about a 30, about a uh, 45 degree angle. Add the little nostril. I'm going to take my chisel and it's going to about a 45 degree angle up, up or down. It's going to skirt against or skate against the nose. And then we're going to come up like this. And down. And a little bit of this. And, and up. Making this part, of, this is the deepest part right here. I mean, we'll come back with a, a knife and stuff like that, but... Let's try it again on this side. 45 degree, because you're just skirting the nose. You gotta go in and then up. This way. This way. And then this way. Okay, I'm going to take my knife and do just a little bit of shaping. <sighs> shaping on the nose. And I'm also going to put this little, little chip cut as the deepest point of where the eyeball should be. That's where the eye is socketed towards the bridge of the nose. See how the shadow is in there? Same with this side. Let's shape the nose a little bit. Let's see, do we still have that tilt going on? We will when we put the eye in. So now I'm gonna put that, that dig that little chip. Okay, make sure that we still got a twisted, a tilted hat, head a little bit. Yeah, we still have it. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a wet the whistle. Okay, the ear, just going to trim that a little bit. Mm -hmm. 